In this video, the master farrier Stefan Becker is going to demonstrate how versatilely the Duplo synthetic horseshoe can be modified and adjusted to many different hooves. His aim is to create as many different types of horseshoes as possible with as little effort as possible. You don't need special tools for these modifications. Probably you have got everything you need already in your regular toolkit. Please be careful while modifying the Duplo horseshoes and use protective clothing. It is quite easy to make a horseshoe with open sole and snow grip from a closed standard Duplo. First, trace the cut line on the horseshoe. Then, use a carpet cutter with fixable blade to cut out the center piece. Be careful to leave enough material for the snow grip. We use a micro torch from the hardware store in order to straighten up the snow grip. Heat the snow grip until the material becomes transparent. Then you pull the horseshoe over the horn of your anvil and thus press the snow grip into shape. You can also heat it once more. If necessary, use a rotary tool to round off sharp edges and an angle grinder to thin out the snow grip. It is quite easy to transform a horseshoe with quarter clips into one without. You can use your standard angle grinder. We recommend removing the clips piece by piece and in turns because of the heat that develops and causes the synthetic material to melt. Try to preserve as many knobs as possible. You can also partly remove the metal on the bottom side of the horseshoe if you'd like to round off the shoe. Use your angle grinder with a coarse grained grinding disc to make a profiled horseshoe from a regular Duplo. It is important to grind from the edge towards the center of the shoe because otherwise the nail holes will clog. There are different ways of creating a toe rocker with Duplo horseshoe. For example, 
you can treat the shoe with your angle grinder. If necessary, you can grind up to the metal core or even further. You can also bend a toe rocker. Fixate the horseshoe at the edge of the anvil or in a parallel wise and reshape it with your hammer. The third way is a forged bevel that creates a sole relief. We often use this variation for very wide hooves. The bevel causes a slight toe rocker as well. You can also change the width of the horseshoe. In order to make it wider, you put it either on a small parallel wise with a narrow or narrow ground jaw or, if the horseshoe is small enough, on a pair of pincers. You can make a large horseshoe more narrow with your hammer. Be careful not to twist the metal core. If necessary, you can straighten the metal core with some well-directed hammer blows. To some degree, you can create an asymmetrical horseshoe that is partly narrow and partly wide. Stabilize the horseshoe in the hardy hole of your anvil and move the opposite branch towards the center. In order to get a good result, Consider the direction of the hammer blows, always diagonally towards the hardy hole. In addition, you can grind the narrow part of the horseshoe. Thanks to the rectangular holes, you can still place the nails in the white line if the hoof is irregularly shaped. The size of the horseshoe is the limiting factor for all modifications. Usually, the limit is about 130 mm. If you modify larger horseshoes and the horse is very big or very heavy, the metal core may reshape itself because of the horse's weight. Uh, mit mehr 10 